another day, another day of hopefully getting finished with this 400 terabytes server. Now today is also filled slightly with a bit of uncertainty and we will get to why exactly in a second as soon as I just find my new be quiet screwdriver because I need exactly that new one. Here it is. Let me just do a very quick M.2 SSD break because yes we are going to install an M.2 SSD a 500 gig one. Now somewhere here in the, in the freaking office I got a uh, two terabytes one and I'm going to install it at some point uh, as a ZFS cache drive. Uh, I just have no clue where it is and I don't want to leave the spot empty for now so I've just got to quickly step that one in and it stays there until I find my two terabyte one. So coming to the uncertainties and I printed out a page here because I have a the manual here and I uh, printed out my little table from the manual on a sheet of paper so that you understand how weirdly explained those PCIe slots are because the manual and the website for the motherboard are not one-to-one -one the same thing. It's super freaking weird. Like it's, they are counted from the bottom up, that's okay, PCIe 1, then 3, 4, 5, 6 and I guess the M.2 drive is treated as PCIe 2. However, what it also says is if I use the second most bottom one, so PCIe 3, and uh, I use the one... Yeah, no, just read that freaking sentence. PCIe 3, so number and slot location, PCIe 3, PCIe 3.0 x16, x16 link, if slot 3 is occupied, switch to x8 link. PCIe 3 is going to switch to 8x mode if PCIe 3 is being used. It, it's, it's so weirdly written and if we take a look at the website it, it, it just gets more confusing or if I count the slots like from the top down if I would use PCIe slot 4 then 3 would switch into ADEX mode however it also says somewhere that the, the most middle PCIe slot will shut off if I use the one below it's so freaking confusing and I, I just don't know so my idea was to maybe let's first unbox the card that we have because we need to connect a total of three PCIe devices. We got this bracket, this 100% identical bracket, a bracket, what I'm saying bracket, this uh, PCIe, what is this, uh, 4X to that mini SAS connector that, that we need for the, for the front of the case. And then we got this one right here which is that Asus optical 10 gig network card and I need to use all three of them. I don't need to use more and I'm trying to avoid using the top one but what I was thinking of doing is slapping in you know what no we are going to slap in in PCIe 1 so the most bottom one one of these adapters the one above that the other one and then in the very top the PCIe 4.0 x24 slot which I found out now it's meant for a riser like if you would use a case where you can should I say horizontally stack cards that's why I use that so you have a x16 slot that you where you can like take Take the leftover X8, adapt it up, then have some sort of a 90 degree bracket and then mount more things to it. That's why we have an X24 slot. But what I'm going to do, because that's PCIe 4.0, this one goes in the top, these two go in the bottom and then we will call it a day. And if for some reason the second PCIe slot from the bottom does not function as I expect it to because some of that wording shenanigan, then I will just re-slot it from 3 to 4, which should work, hopefully. And then we, yeah, that should, that, that should basically do it. I guess that would be all. Okay, I guess let's begin. <sighs> okay, all the PCIe extension cards installed, but we are not done for today because the next step would be to connect the five front blades. I, I think of slabs, they have a name. Anyway, the five blades, I will just call them blades. The five blades that connect each five hard drives and each and every one of them is using one of those mini SAS adapters for two of, of which we already installed the two adapters now. We have three on the motherboard, three connectors, two additional ones in the bottom using PCIe PCIe and we just need to connect everything. For that I got myself one of these mini SAS 8643 cables here 
you have a variety of different versions of this. You have longer, shorter, different color options. I got just the black one in 50 centimeters because I believe that's like exactly what I need. I measured it, like eyeballed it, and I think 50 is like the short, the longest one needs to be like 55 to fit. And I don't want to, you know, have a lot of mess in the case. So I uh, stayed with this one. Now, one thing I did, which I'm not sure if I needed to do, is I ordered all the cables because I got five. All of them have the exact same length. I don't know if that is necessary, but like in my head, you know, electricity takes time, even if it is like very, very, very minimal. And especially for data related stuff, I don't know, in my head it makes sense to have all of the cables have the exact same length in order to, you know, prevent any issues from there. I guess if I use a longer one, nobody will care. But because everything needs to function simultaneously, I I, I don't know. I, I just prefer to, to take five identical ones. In the very least, my OCD is happy. That's in the very least that. I will start by connecting all five of these blades and from there I will route the cables to the back. I could do the other way around, but I think this is going to be easier. Yeah, and you can already see the most bottom one. That's hard to get in. Okay, number one. From now on it should start to become easier. Number two. Number three. Number four. And the last one. Woo! Okay, and... Now routing all of them to the front and I will immediately start with the one where I fear the most for its length but I can I can already see that this will work just fine. And now I can squeeze this cable underneath the CPU cooler. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's continue with the second most away one, which is here, then the one underneath, followed by the last two native ones. Whew. And before I forget it, because we are already here, let's just quickly connect the real SATA SSD, where I sincerely hope that the cable is long enough. Mm. I don't know if this is long enough. No, oh, no, that should do. Whew. And as a last quick measurement, Put the fans back in place. Great. As like a general, maybe not critique, but uh, an, a small issue I have over the case. I love the hot swappable fans. However, because you need to route all of these cables from the front to the back, you kind of have very limited spaces where you can fit the cables without the fan hitting the cable every time you unplug and plug it back in. Especially the Molex connectors. Like there is no way you would at all connect a Molex connector in there uh, without hitting that fan all the time. It's not an issue. Like it works and it will work just fine. However, every time you unplug it and you replug it, you need to like keep the cables back in place. Otherwise you might really rip them out. I'm not even that sure how they would want to fix that because you don't want to have like an, another bracket here, even if it would be like a mesh bracket because then plugging everything in would be completely impossible. And I'm really not sure how I would fix that other than just drill a bunch more holes in the bottom or like proprietary Molex cables. If they are bound to use Molex for some freaking reason, which I don't understand, maybe create like a connector that connects nicely in there and doesn't hit the fan all the time, uh, which then adapts to, I don't know, four or five uh, Molex or whatever, and then include that with the case, because this is not ideal. I don't see this breaking in any way, shape or form, but it does kind of annoy me slightly that this is not like uh, idiot proof. I would prefer the whole thing to be really idiot proof, but... Uh, yeah, that's how it is. Now, uh, I need some space here. I need a lot of space now with my printed out manual from the motherboard. Coming now to the last step for today, and that's something that might sound like a lot of fun on paper, like this is an exciting moment. However, having done a lot of videos in my past, I do know that the first one is exciting, the second one is slightly less exciting, the third one is tedious, the fourth is slightly annoying, and five just sucks. Yeah, we now need to install all 20 hard drives.
uh, like a small information before I forget to talk about this later on. For some reason, a lot of these hard drives, and I, and I really hope you can see it, uh, they have like small indentations, like they have like, have like fall damage. Uh, here is a groove, there is are two out sticking ones, and I already saw like three or four hard drives which had something similar. This is going to be fun. It slightly triggers my OCD that there is like one hard drive missing here or that the three mountains are not exactly the same height. Can the table even st still like lift itself up? Not bad. I am so done with this thing for today. We installed, what did we install this episode? I, this took so long, I don't even remember. We routed all the, the connection cables, we installed the PCIe extensions, the network card, installed all 20 hard drives in the front, connected them, that took two hours, oh no, that, like one hour. It took a solid hour to do all of that. And I'm so done for today. So for today, I'm going to leave it at this. I believe we are almost complete. The last thing I can think of are the back fans. Am I really done? Back fans and then I'm done. Yeah, everything is connected except for the back fan. Yeah, I'm not going to do a whole episode just for a back fan. What is this, 92? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back. Nope, not 92. Certainly not doing a whole episode just for a back fan. I just need the smallest screws that I have. Do case screws work? Yeah, these should work. No, what is this? If it's not 92 and it's not 60, what is in the between? 72, I think. Okay, so I don't have a fan that fits in there. Unfortunate, but that's how it is. I will order one and for the next episode, I will very, very quickly install it. And then we will, for the first time, really start up this server. I will prepare a USB drive with FreeNAS and I think next episode will be solely focused on the software side. Maybe we'll do a BIOS upgrade together and then install FreeNAS and start configuring stuff. I'd see how much I can do in a single episode, but that will be for next time. For today, I am done. This was exhausting. I'm happy that I'm finished for today. But for you, thank you for watching and uh, stick around for the next episode. We will cover the software part of this. So hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.